Welcome back to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. I have been testing the solar on the Redivis RT99. You can see the controller. Let's see if I know how to move my finger. You can see the controller there. Uh, we got the Redivis here and then down here we have the battery pack and I'll take you out to show you the solar panel. So. I'm going to show you my setup. I want y'all's feedback on what you think, what I did wrong, what I could do better, and let's talk about it. All right, so a quick update on what's going on, and I say update. I've already done a review on the Redivis RT99. I um, told you about how it works with the uh, tablet here and location sharing. Um, I did the video on the solar poor man's, uh, well this is a poor man repeater, so let's just call this poor man solar, right? So since that video, um, I have put this 100% on solar. So it is not plugged into uh, the power box to either one of them. It is all strictly going down here through the battery. So what I have, this is just a standard car battery. Um, nothing special um, it was donated to me brand new and I said you know what I'm going to hook it onto this thing so what I have back here in the event it didn't work um, I made a I made some plugs for the uh, for the power supply so I can unplug it from here which this is the solar all right or oh, excuse me, that's to the radio. This is the battery, so I could I could replug that in and and it would run, of course. So, and that's what you see these leads going down for. So if I had to do, put it back on the on the on the power supply, I could. But this has been on the battery for geez, probably over two weeks now. Um, we've had some very sunny days. We've had some very cloudy days and it has worked rather well. So most of you are already aware that this is the old uh, Harbor Freight solar control box that used to come in the pack. I think it was a 45 watt uh, system. Came with three 15 watt panels. So I'm using that with two 25 watt panels, okay? So if this is for 45 watts, I know two 25 watts, but the reading that I've done, right, all, all my internet research, because the internet knows everything, um, solar panels don't give you 100%. Even on the sunniest days, you'll see, we'll go out there in a minute, and you'll see that there's dirt on the panels, there's dust on the panels, so um, they're not getting the full 40, 50 watts, and it's not overloading this, haven't had any problems on this end. Um, constant testing of the battery I'll take the uh, the clamps off and test the battery it has not fallen below 12.9 volts and we were running some pretty heavy testing with it um, and it never drained it it always went back up I think um, the highest I've seen it was like 13.4 13.5 somewhere in there so it's it's holding a good charge. Let's go outside and look at the solar panels just so you can see what I did. All right, so here are the two 25 watt solar panels. Once again, this is just part of that combo pack from Harbor Freight that you can buy now. Um, I put the solar controller and the other panels on another project that we're doing, not radio related. So this is it and we've had pretty good luck with them so far so if you have done anything like this or think i'm doing anything wrong or could do something better let me know i've never screwed with any kind of solar equipment at all and this was just kind of a test and it seemed to work pretty well so give me your thoughts let me know if you have any ideas that i should try well, you thought I was gone. I uh, forgot to tell you about a few other things going on. We are still working on the VTEC GMRS 20V2 review. I've had the radio in the truck for about a week or two now. Uh, tested it out, took it over to Houston, tried it out. Uh, so that's coming down the road. Uh, we are also getting 
closer and closer to the 750 mark on the uh, subscriber list and more prizes to be given away once we hit that so please share my videos like my videos tell your friends to subscribe and help us hit that mark um, went this morning and had breakfast with a couple of guys from our group um, and we met two other repeater owners that are up in the San Antonio area had a great time with them Mark and Curtis uh, enjoyed my time with you this morning the chat was great the coffee was good we have to do it again soon um, come find us on Facebook we've had a lot of uh, people join our Facebook group if you are local to the Medina County San Antonio area uh, we do have breakfast every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock get in contact with us on there so you can uh, uh, find out where we go and meet up with us. We would love to have you. Uh, once again, thanks for watching my videos. I look forward to all of your comments, uh, feedbacks, criticism, critiques, be it good or bad. I take all of your suggestions to heart, I promise you. Uh, hope you all have a great day. And uh, we'll keep you updated on how all of this is working. All right. I hope you all have a great weekend or what's left of it. It is uh, Sunday afternoon. So take it easy. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.